Hello children. How are you today? I am teacher Jen and I will be your teacher for today's math lesson. Before we begin, here are the things that you will need in this lesson. You will need your Power Math Book 1B, some writing materials, like a mini whiteboard and a marker, or just a paper and a pencil. And counters. These counters will be used as tens and ones. Don't you worry, you can DIY them. That means you can make your own counters at home. Just like these counters, you can use popsicle sticks or drinking straws. All you have to do is to bundle 10 sticks or 10 drinking straws using a rubber band. Then make 10 bundles. Just keep some single sticks out or some single straws out to be used as once. Also, you can use dried beans. Any kind of beans will do. You just have to glue 10 beans on a popsicle stick. And then make 10 sets or 10 sticks of beans. And don't forget, keep some single beans out to be used as once. So, there you go. Pause this video and get these materials and yourself ready. Now that everything is ready, let's power up ourselves. Look at this machine. Work out which number went in. I'll give you a few seconds to think about it. Okay, so let's see first what number came out. Can you say what number this represents? That's right, it's 39. Three tens and nine ones makes 39. So, can you now figure out which number went in? Excellent! 40. 40 went in, and then it says here one less, and so 39 came out. Now let's complete these sentences using these numbers. Say the sentences with me. 1 more than 39 is 40, and 1 less than 40 is 39. You are doing great. Today, children, we are learning to compare numbers. What are we learning again today? Very good. And to do that, this is what I am looking for. Can you please read our wealth? Now let's read together. I can use less than, greater than, and equal to symbols to compare two digit numbers. All right, keep that in mind. Let's start. Look at this illustration. This is Ola and this is Ben. And this is their result board. We can see that Ola made 28 star jumps and 27 sit-ups, while Ben made 32 star jumps and 24 sit-ups. So, here is our first question. Who has done more star jumps? What do you think is this question 
asking you to work out. This question is asking you to compare which number is bigger. So, how many star jumps did Ola make? 28. How about Ben? Okay, 32. Hmm, do these numbers seem big for you? I wonder what we can use to help us out. Yes, we can use the counters that we made ready before we started this lesson. And we can represent these numbers using these counters. But how could you represent the number of star jumps? Did you say by representing tens and ones of each number? That is absolutely right. So, go ahead, pause this video, use your counters, and represent the number of star jumps Ola and Ben each made. I guess you're done. Have a look at my representation. Here, I used base 10 blocks to represent tens and ones of their numbers. How about you? What did you use? That's great! Now, study these two number representations. What do you notice? Do you agree with Astrid? that Ben has more tens? Let's see. Ben has one, two, three tens. While Ola has two tens. Therefore, Ben's number, which is 32, has more tens than Ola's number, which is 28. And knowing that, do you think we still need to compare the number of ones? You got it. There's no need to compare the number of ones since they have different number of tens. And we know that three tens, which is equal to 30, 10, 20, 30, is bigger or greater than two tenths, which is equal to 20. Remember children, when comparing two digit numbers, first look at the number of tenths. Ones, tenths. Ones, tenths. Therefore, we can say that 32 is greater than 28. And we use this symbol to show greater than. Again, 32 is greater than 28. You can also see in this number line that 32 comes after 28. And that shows that 32 is a bigger number. And to answer our first question, Ben has done more star jumps. Did you also get it right? Now let's move on to our next question. Who has done more setups? How many setups did Ola make? 27. How about Ben? 24. This time, let me show you part whole models representing these numbers. Have a look at this. How could you use these part whole models to help you compare the numbers? As you can see, children, this way we can easily compare the number of tens and ones 
each number has. And this will help you compare numbers by looking first at the number of tens. So, what can you say about these two numbers? That's correct. Ola's number, which is 27, and Ben's number, which is 24, have the same number of tens. Two tens and two tens. Therefore, what can you use to help you compare these numbers? Let us hear what Dexter has to say. They have the same number of tens. Mm, I think I need to compare the ones. Do you agree or disagree with Dexter? How many ones does Ola's number have? That's right, seven ones. How about Ben's number? Four ones. Okay, now pause this video and try writing the number sentence comparing 27 and 24. Let's check your number sentence. Since Ola's number has more ones than Ben's number, therefore, 27 is greater than 24. Are you also correct? So, who has done more setups? Well done. Ola has done more setups. Now let's think and work together. Who has done more press ups? Is it Anya or Chen? Look at this score sheet and these part whole models. Does Anya's number or Chen's number have more tens? Great! Anya's number has more tens than Chen's number. Use this number line to help you more. Find Anya's number. There you go. How about Chen's number? There it is. Remember what you have just learned. Write a number sentence comparing Anya's number and chance number. Pause this video and do so. Let's see if you got this correctly. Since Anya's number has more tens than chance number, then 40 is greater than 35. Were you correct? But if you wrote this the other way, 35 is less than 40, then you are also correct because these two number sentences both show that 40 is the bigger number. So, who has done more press ups? Excellent! Anya has done more press ups. After all of the exercises that we did today, I know for sure that you are all ready to do your independent activity. But before that, can you tell me what you have learned today? Have you learned about comparing numbers? Were you able to use these comparing symbols to compare two-digit numbers? You are all doing great. Now, answer page 67, numbers 1 and 2, and page 68, number 3, of your Power Math Practice Book 1B. That's all for today's math lesson. 
Thank you, children. See you again tomorrow. Bye.